In this video, we will show you how to do a value-add multifamily acquisition analysis where we simulate acquiring an existing multifamily property and renovating the units, taking them offline temporarily, then bringing them back online at a higher rent. Let's start out by going File, New File, selecting multifamily and giving our property a name, and the dimensions, and a purchase price for the existing property and put in our values for trailing 12 months actuals and a 3% growth rate which we can change later. And now that we've created the file we are dropped onto the rent roll inputs screen and you'll see that a line has been created for every unit in the building and we can look at this on this rent roll basis or we can look at it on a unit mix basis which shows that by default all of the units were created as studios and so if we want to change the composition of the building let's say in fact the building is 10 studios and 10 one bedroom one baths and all of the units are unrenovated we'll just go to add unit unrenovated and select one bed one bath and now we can change the unit counts of each and the square footages and the rents and then we'll click save when we go back to the rent roll view we'll see that now the rent roll is composed of 10 studios and 10 one bedroom one bath units at the respective rents and all are currently classified as unrenovated well, the goal here is to take these units offline, put $15,000 of investment into them, and upgrade the interiors. And then on the back end, we think we'll be able to get a rent premium, let's say, of $250 a unit per month. And that's an input which we can change later. And now we will go over to the cash flow screen and make inputs related to the renovation. So let's say the renovation will last us 13 months and on average it'll take us three months to renovate a unit and on average we'll remarket that unit for an additional one month and the average budget per unit will be fifteen thousand dollars we see here that we have the two hundred and fifty dollar rent bump on the back end let's make that three hundred and fifty so we have a little bit of a more pronounced impact to the value and we see that our average market rent is twenty five hundred dollars a unit per month now and when we add that premium, it'll become $28.50 per unit per month post-renovation. Our expenses that we input on the new file screen are showing up in the miscellaneous line. We can break them out later. We'll just leave them here as is for now. And we'll go down to the cash flow. Now the cash flow shows us currently the annual view. And we see our trailing 12 months values here in the leftmost column. What we need to do now in order to simulate the renovations is change over to the monthly view. And now we see that our column headers represent the months and we have a row at the top labeled units taken offline to be newly renovated. And so now we will go month by month and input the number of units that we will be taking offline at the beginning of each of those months for renovation. And so let's say we'll take five units at the beginning of month three and we'll skip over to month six and take another five units offline and that makes ten and then in month eight we'll take another five units offline and then in month thirteen we'll do the final five and what you'll see here in those periods in which the units are offline we have a special line item for vacancy loss specifically related to the renovation activity. And so this is the loss of rent for those units that are taken offline for the four months that it takes for them to get put back online. So this is five units offline for these four consecutive months. And if we scroll over, we'll see that in this case, we have overlap between this batch of five and this new batch of five. So the loss rent is twice as much. And so now what we can do is we can go over to our sources of funds screen. And now what we'll do is we'll say, all right, well, let's assume that we're going to refinance 
on the back end of these renovations after we've increased the rent stream. So we have our initial acquisition loan up here, and now below we have a permanent loan, which as a default is included in the analysis. So we finish our final renovation at the end of month 17. So let's go ahead and make this month 20. And let's go ahead and pull out the maximum proceeds, which is going to allow us to pull out $2 million in excess equity. Now we can take a look at our reports. Stabilized executive summary report. This is showing us the pattern of the NOI. We see the NOI is going to be dipping in those periods in which units are taken offline. That's expected. And then once the NOI stream is restored and stabilized again, it will grow at the assumed 3% rate year over year. And this graph on the bottom shows the cumulative impact of the renovation program. And so this is the value that we're adding in terms of dollars per month cumulatively. We also have the ability to take a look at the renovation timing. And so this graph at the top will show us how the composition of the building changes over the whole period. We can look at our annual cash flow report and see how our levered cash flows turned out. We've had a 33% IRR over the 10 year hold period, a 3.3 times equity multiple, and we have loans that have more than sufficient debt service coverage. Now, if we would like, we can go back to the cash flow tab and put in more detail, but at first blush, this looks like a winning investment at the purchase price assumed and the rent premiums assumed and the exit cap rate.